start, don't start the car, but when you turn it on, you know, to the on position without starting it, it tells us 2.1. And also, what this tells us too right here is that the... I've been up for a minute, now I'm down for it. I've been good with the team, never bad for it. I'ma work for the winner, never slack for it. And I live for the king, I got a crown for it. I know the way, ayy. Know the way, he really is the way. He the way, ayy. You can follow me, ayy. I know the way, ayy. Never been afraid, cause we know the way, ayy. Ah, ayy. Ain't no shame in the way. See me smile, I don't hide the pain in my face. Oh, no, no. Give my all, I'm raising the stakes. People try to beat you, but we ain't in a race. Ah, hey. But I believe there's still an open door if you don't see it. Just as long as I know my purpose, I won't lose it. I can't leave it. I get knocked down all the time, it doesn't mean that I'm defeated. I'm going through changes, through changes. Where's grace? Know my place. Yeah, I made mistakes, but I didn't stay. Kept the faith. Not the same after everything I've been through. All I really wanna say is I've been up for a minute, now I'm down for it. I've been good with the team, never bad for it. I'ma work for the win, I never slack for it. Welcome to Peanuts Automobile Adventures. Ah, oh, yeah, team run it. That's Peanut. I'm James, Peanuts Automobile Adventures. But before we get into the intro of the video, let's give a shout out to our official sponsor, And it's right there where Peanuts pointing at, right there. GraphicSpotVA.com, uh, graphic design, graphics, uh, t-shirts, banners, decals, uh, all that great stuff. You know, if y'all, you guys need some help in that department, reach out to them. Also, their uh, Instagram is the underscore graphic underscore spot, you know, on Instagram, you know, so follow them. But let's get into today's video. Yeah. Today's video is about GNX 548. 548. What we're going to discuss is, which... Um, I felt like it was something to discuss with Team Run It is that the actual, um, what's that thing called in there, man? You know what? I don't know what it's called, but we're going to show it to y'all. Let me turn this camera around. All right, Team Run It, what we're going to discuss is this Scan Master 2.1 yeah. right here. Yeah, Scan Master. Scan Master, right? You can read yeah. that, Peanut? Scan, Scan Master. Master. And we're going to discuss what it does. Hold on. I don't think they can see it good. Hold on. Yeah, Let me move my hand out. Yeah. This right here. Yeah. I got it laying. Some people put it up here. Some people put it, you know, elsewhere, but a funny story about this thing, though. Yeah. Got pulled over here in Virginia, and the state trooper thought it was a radar detector. Funny story, but I had explained to him that it wasn't a radar detector. So, you know, it, it was a funny story, but he was heated at first because, you know, radar detectors are illegal in Virginia. But just a, just a little funny side story about the scan master. So, all right, let me get this uh, turned around. All right, team, run it. What, uh, yeah, Peanut's point that? Is the Scan Master 2.1, and how we know it's a 2.1 peanut is when I start don't start the car, but when you turn it on, you know, to the on position without starting it, it tells us 2.1, and also what this tells us too right here is that the uh, that the Scan Master is reading under ECM, yeah. so we know that that we're connected and whatnot. So let me go ahead and shut this off real quick. I just wanted to show Team Runner a little bit of that. And also, uh, team run it, um, how we hook this up. This ain't a tutorial on how to hook it up. I hooked this thing up probably about a year or two ago. I think yeah. it's a, uh, it's a requirement, right? Yeah. For any turbo Buick owner, uh, typhoon owner, side tie, typhoon, cyclone owner, you know what I'm saying? This thing reads, uh, real time data and yeah. data, uh, is everything for us, yeah. but we hooked it up to, to the actual, uh, what is that thing called? ALDL connector, which is down here on the bottom, Pina. I'm going to show you. It's down here, Team Run. I'm not going to bend the camera down, but you guys know. It's the OBD. Oh, the, it's the OBD1 port down there. Yeah, right here. And where you hook it up at, you, you hook it to the, uh, the second, uh, up top to the left, Terminal E. And it's the second one to Terminal E. That's where you hook yeah. it up at where you can pick up, you know, on, on the codes and whatnot. And that's how we figured out what code was being thrown for that um what is that thing we just changed out man you know what i'm saying that um egr valve yeah how know. we got the 32 code on there so yeah yeah so you know we just wanted to i thought it'd be a good video to explain how important this is especially to my turbo buick uh owners turbo buick guys you, you know <coughs> excuse me 
<coughs> That's why we got this door shut because it's a little cool out today. High was 50 degrees and I think it's dropping. But yeah, all Turbo Buick owners should have one of these. Unless yeah. you're running some other piggyback, some other um, engine, management sy engine management system. You guys should have one of these. It, it gives you real-time data on what's going on with the car. As y'all can see, it gives you uh, yeah. retard degrees, you know, knock. That's pretty much what that is. Uh, it gives you any error codes for the engine. That's why we didn't have to use our little handy-dandy plug-in thing. And what I got in GNX 549 is a Scan Master G. You know that yeah. thing that's right here? That thing that's right here? Um, I got a boost gauge with the Scan Master G right there, so... Uh, it reads just like this one, yeah. but I, I yeah. think it reads a little bit better. Yeah. So, you know, but, but I'm going to go over some of the features of this thing and I'm going to start yeah. the car up and show you guys. Right, right, you run. I'm going to go ahead and start this car up for you guys. 2.1, like I was say, stating, look right there. Yeah. Car is running and it yeah. should start reading. See it reading? And let's see if we got any error codes real quick before I go over what this thing does. Like right there, air fuel ratio. You know, hold on, let's go. So right here is the malfunction is zero zero. That's what you want. Before I had a malfunction three two, EGR malfunction. So, but let's go back. We're back at the home screen now, the first screen. So I'm gonna go over what this thing reads. Right now, what it's doing is reading uh, oxygen sensor reading in millivolts. So that's what we got right here. Matter of fact, if this car warms up, peanut, I'm gonna uh, turn the heat on for us. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on for us anyway. We in here. So let's turn the little heat on. Hopefully, y'all can still hear me with that little heat blowing. Yeah, we should be all right right there. And next, I'm gonna go to KR. Nope, that's air fuel ratio. I'm sorry. Yeah. This is airflow ratio. And this is the airflow from the map math sensor. It's what the math sensor is reading. Yeah. So let's go to the next one. Th this right here is the load. Uh, it's the calculated load factor. Yeah. But right now it's pretty low because we're not driving the car. But when you're driving the car, those numbers should rise to. Let's see. Calculated load factor should be. Oh, yeah, yeah. 0, 0.0 to. 25.6 so that's kind of high yeah let me see if i rev it what it does okay yeah. all right let, let's go to the next one the next one is of course battery voltage as y'all can see that's great battery voltage 13.5 13.7 that's great some cars read 13.0 maybe 12.9 anything lower than that there's an issue right probably alternator bad battery something like that but but we're doing good 13.7 that's a strong battery man love a battery tender all right let's go to the next one all right the, the integrator is pretty much the short-term fuel trim on the car let's go to the next one the block learn is pretty much the long long-term fuel trim on the car a lot of times these numbers would be high if you got like a cracked header or something like that, yeah. you know, the exhaust or you got an exhaust leak, yeah. something like that. So that number would be high. Man, I keep shaking this camera. I need to stop <laughs> that. All right. Let's see. Let's see. What's the next one? Of course, that's Mars. mile per hour, right? MPH. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right now, we sitting still, so it's yes. going to read zero, right? Miles yeah, per hour. But no. if we was driving, it would read the actual miles per hour yeah. that the car is doing. Yeah. Let's go to the next one. Coolant temperature. That's why we're getting a little heat in the car. Look, our coolant temperature is up to a 143. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 145. 145. Yeah, so so we're doing pretty good. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to see. Look, look at that team running. You got an engine light right there. No engine. So we about to get to it. No engine light. So let's go to the next one. Air intake. Uh, What is that thing? Air intake temp is right there. Air intake temp. Man, where that, that light went out? Man, I got to figure this out. Air intake temp right there. Pretty much the temperature of the air entering the the intake to the car. Let's see, what's the what's the next one? RPMs, 825. So let me go ahead and rev it. That number should get higher and it's gonna drop. So that's uh, engine RPMs. Yeah. Revolutions per minute. What's the next one? TPS, uh throttle position sensor. So that's 
pretty much what the flap in the throttle body is doing and the actual sensor to that flap and where it's at. That's what the car reads. And let's go to the next one. Either idle air control sensor is on the throttle body itself. So, you know, IAC, very important. I can't remember what CC is, cross counts. So cross counts is actually what the O2 sensor is doing, uh, is what the O2 sensor is reading, activity. So let's go to the next one. Malfunction code 44. Yep. That's a new malfunction code. We're gonna have to figure that one out. Malfunction 44. I gotta remember that number, 44. Yeah, 44. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. And we're back to the home screen again. And luckily this right here, you don't, uh, you don't get no knock, that number. Anything, I, I, I personally believe anything above two, if you have a 2.0 in this number, that's, you know, you gotta start investigating what's going on with the car. So, so let's see something real quick, hold on. Let me go back to that malfunction one again. Malfunction 44, hold on, let us research that team, run it. Hold on one second. All right, team, run it. Uh, what we found out with that oxygen, I mean, with that malfunction 44, which is right here, let's see if I can show yeah. it to y'all, is an oxygen sensor lean. So I don't know if I'm about, uh, getting a bad O2 sensor or what, but yeah. the engine light came on for like a split second and it went off. So yeah. I don't know. I probably need to drive the car. Maybe some condensation on the oxygen sensor. Who knows? Yeah. But I got an extra one on the shelf if I need to change out the oxygen sensor. Yeah. That's not a big deal. But also what 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 we what I actually missed on too is uh, this thing the uh, Scan Master 2.1 also has a record yeah. mode. So long as the TPS is above a certain rate, yeah. uh, what what is that rate, Peanut? You know the rate. It got to be above uh, uh, the voltage rate. Got to be above a 3.0. Then it'll yeah. start recording. And when it starts recording, you can hit this right side recall button, and um, and you can recall, you know, all all the settings. Well, like it, it records, but the minute you shut the car off, whatever is recorded by the scan master, it's uh, it's deleted. So you gotta be careful with that, you know, especially if you're trying to log some stuff or whatever. Um, and you got a recall mode. So the recall mode is right here. I was just tapping on it. That that recall mode is right here where you can recall all your. Um, different figures and settings so you know a scan master you know uh, my turbo buick guys make sure you guys get one of these for real uh you can get a scan master from i'm gonna name some vendors that i know where you can get them from you can get them from turbotweak.com you can get them from gbodyparts.com you can get them from highwaystars.net you know what i'm saying so all you new turbo buick owners or whatnot man make sure y'all get one of these you know what i'm yes. saying this should be part of, like, say that you just picked up a new yeah. Grand National yeah. Turbo Buick, something like that. Uh, between changing all the fluids and whatnot, tuning it up and all that, this should be the the first thing you guys should get is a Scan Master, a boost gauge, and I'm guilty for this because they're sitting on the shelf and I need to actually install them. Get you a boost gauge, Scan Master, a water temperature gauge, and what's the other temperature gauge? I said boost gauge. Water temp. There's another one. Dang it, I can't remember. Um, I said water temp, boost gauge. Maybe those are the two. I'm trying to think. And maybe an amperage gauge, you know, to read the battery. But I don't know. I'm going to have to research that, man. I just called a blank. But, you know, get those all you new to new turbo buick owners you know what i'm saying because it'll save you some heartache and whatnot oh oil pressure gauge duh. Yeah, oil. oil pressure gauge not the not the amperage gauge don't even worry about that yeah. get you your oil pressure gauge water temp gauge boost gauge and your scan master like i think uh in a couple of months we're gonna uh go ahead and install our oil pressure gauge and uh and water temperature gauge because by the time like the reason for this is by the time you do, by the time your dummy lights come on, factory dummy lights, what we call them on the actual dash itself, it's too late. You know what I'm saying? If you have, uh, for catastrophic failure, you lose oil pressure, 
uh, your, your car run hot, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Now, this scan master don't read oil pressure, but it does yeah. read coolant temp. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes when I'm driving, I do have it set to coolant temp too, yeah. to just to see what it's doing, uh, what the car is doing, or if I think it's doing something weird, I'll put it automatically on coolant temp. So remember that team run it, yeah. boost gauge, oil pressure gauge, coolant temp gauge is what you need, right? Ooh, this, this heat's good up in here, ain't it? You feel that heat? Yeah, GNX 548 got some good heat. Yeah. So this was just a, a, little, a little short version of us going over to Scan Master 2.1. Uh, I gave y'all some vendors y'all can look into when y'all need to purchase one. Uh, I got the Scan Master G in the other car, got a Scan Master here. And I think in the gold car, once yeah. I swap everything over to uh, a ECM for, thank you to Crash and Burn, watching some of your videos, Crash and Burn, uh, YouTube channel, I'm gonna go ahead and swap uh, a 86, 87 ECM in my hot air car and go ahead and get the chip with the matching injectors from Turbo Tweak. So we can go ahead and get that car, you know what I'm saying? It, it's, it drives fine, but we can make it better. We can make it better. And also, before we end this video, I'm thinking about going, I'm seriously thinking about going with the ECU Grand National. Seriously. I'm seriously thinking about going with that. But I'm going to call, uh, I'm going to pick some people's brains and whatnot, read up on it some more. But I'm really thinking about going with that ECU Grand National. Probably in this car. So I could probably use this ECM in the hot air car if I swap this car over to ECU Grand National. So we'll see, you know what I'm saying? That's in the works, 2023, right around the corner. We got some goals, we got some things we need to do. You know what I'm saying? But hopefully you guys are enjoying this content. Uh, this is just a little brief uh, synopsis on the Scan Master 2.1. It's highly recommended, along with boost gauge, or pressure gauge, cooling gauge. I don't want to forget that. Yeah. We need to install ours. So, but we'll get them installed. But A, um, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share, right? Yeah. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. Peanut right here. My crew chief. That's my crew chief right there. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, we hope you guys enjoy, Team Running enjoys the con I mean the content. Uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Uh, Team Running, thank you for the support. That's Peanut. I'm James. This is Peanut's Automotive Ventures. We out. Yeah. Peace. Peace.